The unmet need that was addressed by this ESMO-driven project was related to a problem that we face in the, del the delivery of precision oncology at large. That is, how can we screen metastatic cancers for the presence of genetic alterations that are found in many tumor types, but at very low prevalence? And for this particular project, our challenge was to develop a screening approach for the detection of rearrangements or fusion genes affecting the N-track genes. The N-track genes came to become of great interest for oncologists because there are now small molecule inhibitors that effectively inhibit tumors that have these particular fusion genes. And the responses that have been observed are not only substantial, but also durable. So we need to find ways of detecting these fusion genes in a cost-effective manner with great accuracy. For the development of this project, we were very fortunate because we could borrow expertise from the Translational Research and Precision Medicine ESMO Committee. And there we had many participants who have experience in both biomarker development for clinical decision making and next generation sequencing approaches. In addition to the members of the committee, we have co-opted expertise from elsewhere, namely in the form of experts in next generation sequencing for the detection of fusion genes, including uh, pathologists and experimental pathologists with great expertise in RNA sequencing and DNA sequencing in the context of clinical decision making. The methodology applied to this project uh, was uh, first to have a teleconference where uh, all the experts could uh, share their views uh, on the techniques that uh, are currently being used to detect these uh, fusion genes. But we also realized that uh, a systematic review of the literature was uh, uh, mandatory to um, gather all the data available at present. So I was in charge to perform the first uh, overview of the studies that have been produced so far and uh, to detail also all of the techniques and the pros and cons of these uh, techniques applied to tissue samples. Then we had a second teleconference in which all the experts had the opportunity to uh, comment on the data that I produced that I put together and we also decided a common strategy that could have been uh, suggested. So in the at present, we are uh, drafting the, the manuscript. We have produced a first draft. Everybody has uh, already commented on it, and we are producing the final version of the manuscript that will be submitted soon. After the overview that we uh, devised, we realized that in this context, it would be uh, different scenarios. In the case, we are facing a histologic type where uh, typically NTRAC3 fusion genes are uh, highly prevalent. We would suggest to do uh, fluorescence in situ hybridization or RT-PCR. In the case, we are screening a population where the NTRAC fusion genes are expected to be found at a very low prevalence, then uh, we should ask the question whether we have a sequencing platform available. If so, we would just go with upfront sequencing analysis. If not, we would suggest to use two-step approach that includes immunostochemistry first, and then if you detect any positivity in these tumor types, then you would reflex the test with the sequencing or a fluorescence to hybridization assay. The potential clinical utility of this project relates to the delivery of targeted therapies for metastatic cancer patients that have NTRAC1, 2 or 3 fusion genes. Based on the promising results that have been published to date, this may be a paradigm shifting treatment and we owe to ourselves to find optimal ways of identifying every single patient who may benefit from this type of treatment.